I played football for Temple University, and it's the truth, see? Don't keep asking me, did you really play? Yes, I really played. At one time, I had a beautiful body. I weighed, uh, I weighed 192 pounds, and they made me a fullback. Now, before you start tuning up, let me get my story finished. No, the truth of the matter is that uh, it didn't take much to play for t Temple at the time that I was playing because we had lost 27 games in a row. And uh, we played against real weak teams. I mean, teams like uh, Muhlenberg, Lafayette, um, what's it, Gettysburg, yeah. Get they all beat us. They all killed us, especially Hofstra. Hofstra beat us 900 or nothing <laughs> in their street clothes, man. They wiped us out. You know? and it, Vassar wouldn't even play us. That's how bad we were, man. Get out of here. We don't even want you on our schedule. So I'm going to give you some insight as to what goes on in the loser's locker room. We are going to play against Hofstra, which is a really terrible school. They killed us every year, boy. And when you play for a team like Temple, you got nothing to do except pace up and down in the locker room. And you say to yourself, boy, I sure do hope I don't get hurt. <laughs> uh, I almost made a tackle last week. I must have been crazy out there or something. <laughs> Nobody else is trying out there. I don't know why I got to be the one all the time. I play on the second team, which is actually the nut squad. Now, these are guys that can play, but they're afraid. They don't want to go out there, so they do nutty things. Like they put the helmet on sideways, looking out through the ear hole. <laughs> guys got on scuba diving suits, no shoe and an ice skate, you know, walking around. <laughs> second team is very quiet, because they're going to go out, scared to death. That's what they are. Catholics on the squad always seem to have something special going, because they're over in the corner, dominant. North Father, please have an idea. I'm not Catholic, but I figure if it works for him, yeah, me too, Father. He's a friend of mine. He told me how to do this. Here, please accept me. You know, we'll pace it up and down. First team's getting last rights. So I'm a job of the week. And we're one. The coach is drawing trick plays on the blackboard because he has no personnel whatsoever, and he knows he's got to work with something that'll trick him. You know. All right, you guys, listen up. Uh, when they come out of the huddle, line up backwards. <laughs> and just let them run right over you, and then we'll raise the flag and everything while you're singing the national anthem, all right? We'll get pity somewhere, I'll tell you that. Then comes the athletic director, says, I'd like to talk to the boys. What? I'd like to talk to the boys. Okay. May I have your attention, please, fellas? This is uh, the athletic director, Mr. Ernie Cassell. It's the man that's responsible for giving most of you the scholarships. <laughs> He'd like to talk to you, Mr. Cassell. Thank you very much, Coach Macris. Well, boys, here we are again. We're going out to have another fine football game. I'm going to go out and play against Hofstra, because you already know that. You know, they beat us last year 900 to nothing. The year before that, they beat us 900 to nothing. I was over in their locker room, I had a chance to look at some of their players, and Christ said, bigger than they were last year. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Fellas, I looked out in the stands, we only have 12 people out there. <laughs> and this is homecoming. <laughs> Just want to say a few words to you. This is our first game on television. We want to keep this television contract going because this is the only way we can make some money to buy a little scuba diving suits and uh, snowshoes and ice skates for all the weird old squads here. So we're going to say to you, please, remember that you're on TV. By that I mean, don't worry about winning the game as much as we want you to be concerned with the fact that while you're out there on the field, we're going to ask you, please, do not touch certain areas of your bodies while you're out there on the football field. Because if you're out there digging and scratching, the people at home are going to turn you right off and we're going to lose the contract. So please do not touch certain areas of your bodies while you're out there on the field. Now we're going to pass out these affidavits and ask you to sign them saying that you will not touch certain areas of your bodies while you're out there on a the football field, all right? So we signed them and we went out, you know, and I'm with the second team and <laughs> first team's got the ninth time for last right, Dominic, Dominic, Dominic. Hofstra came out of the locker room. I had never seen guys so big before in my life. They had just brought 11 guys with them. 
Smallest guy on the squad was 6'1", 490 pounds. It was a halfback. Ran 109 one, had long teeth hanging out of his mouth. Every one of them just had one eye in the center of the forehead. The coach was beating them out onto the field with a ball and chain, hitting them smack in the back of the head. Get out of there! Go on, Igor. What's good, Igor? First team said, oh God, don't look at him. If you don't look at him, you won't get scared. Second team went crazy. Guys oh. are ripping their clothes off. I can't play naked. Oh. Throw some meat at him. Maybe they'll eat that. Get out of here. Oh, oh first thing we We run a play. <laughs> There's a fire of this. Eleven Hofstra guys still standing. Oh. Eleven simple men out cold on the ground. So should I get the nut squad naked or not? Get out there. <laughs> And as we're carrying them off, I swear I heard one temple guy on the ground say, Can we get up now? No, you move, I'll punch you right in the mouth. So help me. Get out of here. We carry them off, Vader Coach. All right, get out there, second team. Let's go. <laughs> we got a quarterback that's 2 1. <laughs> All right, run the kamikaze play on one. All right, kamikaze. Cosby up the middle, the whole team off the field. Break. We break out of the huddle, the quarterback goes up to shift. One, two, ping, gives me the ball. I take one step and I look, and there's a hole. And I had never seen a hole <laughs> playing for Temple. And I said, God, a hole. <laughs> I turned to the people in the stand, look at this, a hole, you see this? He said, yeah, hurry up, run. I said, wait a minute, it may be a mirage. <laughs> you can't tell. I said, well, I better get moving, I'll never forget it. It was a big hole with a defensive man on the ground I planted one foot, stepped over him. When I did, he stood up and hit me. <laughs> and the pain was tremendous. And I threw down the ball, and I said, oh. I've been hit in the... You'd better not touch. And here it is, everybody. while you're on the football here. So I grabbed my head. Yes, what's the matter? I can't say nothing until they bring a commercial on, all right? Thank you and good night.